The release of the Tesla Semi seems to be just around the corner. According to the latest developments, Tesla has started taking reservations from the general public. This is a big step forward because so far only big companies like Pepsi and Budweiser were on the potential buyers list. Add to that the fact that several of these trucks have been sighted in different locations in the past few weeks, which shows that Tesla is certainly cooking something up. The Tesla Semi isn't as talked about as some of the other Tesla products, but there's no doubt that this is just as essential as Tesla's flashy car. While the likes of Model Y or Model 3 are changing the passenger car game, products like the Tesla Semi and RoboTaxi will reshape the commercial transport industry. How good is the Tesla Semi? Looking at some trucking industry numbers can help illustrate just how big of a difference the Tesla Semi can make. As of 2022, there are approximately 4 million commercial Class 8 trucks on the road in the US. They collectively drive upwards of 300 billion miles annually. Since all of these are powered with gasoline, the CO2 emissions from semi-trucks alone make up 15% of total emissions for the country. This makes Tesla Semi, a zero-emission freight-hauling cargo machine, a great bet for the environment. In addition, Tesla Semis will beat traditional Semis on all fronts like range, operational costs, and performance. According to the Tesla website and the few times when Tesla has put out briefs about the Tesla Semi, we know that this Tesla proclaims badass truck can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5 seconds. Granted, these numbers are for an empty truck, but eventually, when fully loaded at the weight capacity of 80,000 pounds, it can hit these speeds in about 20 seconds. During its unveiling, Elon even went as far as saying that driving the Tesla Semi will be like driving a Model S or Model X or Model 3. I guess we will find the truth of that statement in a few months. However, it does pack some exciting features. The Tesla Semi will have only one gear and will come with an autopilot feature. While it won't be as advanced as passenger cars, it is surely a major innovation for the trucking industry. Perhaps the most exciting change for the Tesla Semi is going to be the new 4680 cells used in its battery. The name comes from the fact that these cells will have a 46mm diameter and 80mm length. It's a major shift away from the 2170 cells Tesla uses in many of its vehicles. Because the 4680 cells hold five times the energy of the smaller 2170 cells. So fewer cells for the same energy and driving range. Expectations are high as these cells can reduce costs and increase the range by up to 16%. Tesla Semi will have some of the highest known ranges for a BEV despite its huge size. That is down to aerodynamics. The truck is designed like a bullet, giving it a better draft coefficient than the Bugatti Chiron and giving it a range of over 800 kilometers. Much delayed. Probably a big reason why the Tesla Semi doesn't get talked of enough is the big delays in its launch. It is currently the most delayed Tesla product, which isn't the worst thing. Because frankly, you'd prefer that Tesla does it right instead of doing it quickly. However, it is important to note that the original Tesla Semi prototype was unveiled in 2017. As expected, it sent waves in the trucking industry and was seen as the start of a revolution. But the vehicle program is so late at this point that a lot of the hype around it has died down. Production of the first semis was supposed to begin in 2019, but as has been the case with many Tesla products, the original timelines never materialized. To be fair to Elon Musk and Tesla, they do have a lot on their plate, and the most delays were a result of the chip shortages and limited production of the 4680 battery cells that are set to power the giant trucks. The most recent update from Elon Musk came at the Giga Texas Cyber Rodeo event back in April. Production of Cybertruck is coming next year. We will be in production with Roadster and with Semi. That's all coming. This year is all about scaling up, and next year there's going to be a massive wave of new products. At this event, Tesla also announced the development of its RoboTaxi fleet. Before that, the RoboTaxi was only listed as a future product. But all of that changed in Tesla's Q2 2022 update letter where the company indicated that after the Cybertruck, Tesla Semi, and Roadster, they are going in to develop the RoboTaxi. 
According to Elon Musk, the dedicated robo-taxi is highly optimized for autonomy, meaning it would not have a steering wheel or pedals. He also mentioned more exciting innovations around it and that it will try to achieve the lowest cost per mile. Apart from Elon Musk's comments, very little is known about the robo-taxi, but after what Musk said about 2023 being the year of scaling up, Robotaxi may be now formally under consideration. Because of Tesla's delays, one of its main rivals in the trucking niche, Nikola, has managed to deliver its first BEV trucks to customers. They shipped 11 trucks to dealers in April and have over 500 orders. Nikola has given estimates that it can deliver at least 300 of them this year. Tesla Semi on the Roads Let's get back to the Tesla Semi and its several sightings on highways around the U.S. Last month, Tesla shared footage of the Semi delivering pre-assembled superchargers at the Laguna Seca racetrack in California. Most recently, a Tesla Semi truck with some impressive artwork was spotted in California. A video of the truck was posted on Reddit, which has since gone viral. Interesting artwork shows a cowboy riding a horse, which might symbolize the Wild West. Some Tesla enthusiasts have pointed out that this Tesla Semi cowboy painting was made especially for the Giga Texas Cyber Rodeo event, and the truck was present there. Based on its location, it looks like Tesla is using the electric truck to move cargo between its own facilities. Earlier in the month, two Tesla semis were spotted heading west on Highway 80 near Donner Lake, and were probably headed to PepsiCo's Modesto site. As you may or may not know, Pepsi has a pre-order for 100 Tesla semis in place. Last November, PepsiCo CEO Ramon LaGuarta said that they were expecting deliveries of the first 15 Tesla semis by the end of 2021. The announcement seemed ambitious at the time, and the timeline was moved forward by another month. The new date was for January 2022, but that plan also didn't pan out. Now it seems that PepsiCo would have to wait a bit longer before it could take delivery of its first electric trucks. Last month, a Tesla Semi was spotted testing on PepsiCo's Modesto facility. An anonymous tipster said that the Semi had been at the facility for an entire week, and that the employees at the plant have indicated that the all-electric truck would be added to the company's fleet sooner than anyone expects. In anticipation of Tesla Semi's arrival, PepsiCo has asked Tesla to start installing several mega charges at the company's California facility. Reservations Pepsi isn't the only company waiting on its Tesla Semi order. Within the first six months of unveiling the Tesla Semi prototype, Tesla received close to 2,000 reservations from Pepsi, Walmart, and other companies. And now the company is finally accepting orders from the general public. While not many details are available, the company's website does offer some information on how you can own the all-powerful truck. The reservation process starts with a $5,000 deposit, which is refundable in case the order is canceled. However, the initial payment will be followed by another $15,000 wire transfer to Tesla within the next 10 days. At this point, the reservation is locked in. For those who don't know, the Semi will be priced at $150,000, while a fully loaded longer range model will be available from $180,000. Mega Charger This brings me back to the charging situation with the Tesla Semi. Tesla has made great progress on its network of supercharging stations and is trying to expand further, but the superchargers won't be enough for a Tesla Semi. Even the best superchargers can give an output of close to 350 kilowatts, which will still take a lot of time to charge a Tesla Semi, which weighs more than 8 tons and will be carrying loads of up to 36 tons. So, Tesla needs something more powerful than a supercharger, hence we have the Mega Charger. As the name suggests, a Mega Charger can produce an output of 1 megawatt, and it will be able to add 400 miles of range to a Tesla Semi in just 30 minutes. Tesla's president of automotive and in charge of the Mega Charger program, Jerome Guillen, said that the Mega Charger is designed to achieve charging goals during a break. Mega charging stations will need to be spread out in a way that you can drive from one break to another, so there is no usable or efficient time wasted for charging the semi. This is obviously an important consideration because of the kind of work the Tesla Semi is designed for. 
These trucks will be covering longer distances, carrying massive loads, and dealing with time constraints that are a constant theme for the cargo shipping industry. In that sense, the semi poses a serious challenge as Tesla tries to walk the fine line between range, efficiency, and disrupting the industry. Tesla will need to deploy these megachargers quickly, but the starting point is going to be the major corporations who have pre-ordered these trucks. They want the megachargers installed at their facilities at the earliest. As I've mentioned before, megachargers have already made an appearance at Pepsi's facility. This was the second installation of the megacharger after Tesla installed the first one in its Nevada Gigafactory back in November. A very important detail about the megachargers is that, unlike their smaller supercharging counterparts, they will be solar powered. So, no power taken away from the grid. Let's talk a bit about the working of these megachargers. They're supposed to generate one megawatt output, but it is being reported that the actual output will be closer to 1.5 megawatts. That is an insane amount of power that will charge the Tesla Semi fairly quickly, but will also produce a lot of heat. To deal with this problem, Tesla will be using a cooling technology outlined in its Mega Charger patent. The patent is titled Liquid Cooled Charging Connector and involves the use of a liquid cooling system on the charging connector itself. According to some pictures, megachargers will also be connected to a Tesla Megapack so they can store any excess energy. To sum it all up, Tesla is now targeting 2023 as the year of Tesla semis, but it is entirely possible that we see some of these on the road before that, carrying Pepsi's freight around. One thing's for sure, the day of the diesel trucks might be numbered, and a new reality is well and truly upon us.